one thing that I, I, I kept hearing stories all throughout when this film came out that all these weird occurrences and phenomena mm -hmm. happened during the making of that. And now I'm talking to the source. Mm -hmm. Are any of those true? Anything weird happened? What you heard were stories <laughs> and rumors and myths. Everybody has a different take on many things that happen in life. You can put people in the same room or the same uh, accident or something, and, and they're going to tell you a different thing. That's why, you know, like when people say, you know, can, can you verify that this was the person? You know, it's hmm. not always true. For me, they always say that young people are very aware if there's anything odd that's going on. I never felt anything weird went on on the set. Um, when the set burned down, it was an electrical shortage. I mean, that's what happens. But it was much more fun to say, ooh, you know. The film was a very difficult film to make. There's, you know, there's no two ways about it. And I think it stood all by itself. But for a while, the myths and rumors went around, and then they circulated more and more. And um, from, from my point of view, no, they're not true. And if you talk with Bill Blatty, he, he basically shares my, my same thoughts about it. You cleared all of it for me. I appreciate that. Okay, we're done. Thank the you. The other thing, when the movie <laughs> came out, there was a lot of concern by parents about you in that film and mm -hmm. the content of the film. Yep. Were you aware of that at the time? Oh, yes. And did you feel real guarded while you made that film? Yes, I did, actually. Um, my mother was always around. She was not on the set. She was upstairs in the dressing room. She, uh, I had worked since I was five years old, doing modeling and commercials in New York. She trusted me, and she trusted Billy Friedkin. And I know they had a lot of discussions um, uh, about things that, you know, I don't generally, you know, I don't, I don't know. They were private. But I, I know she trusted Billy. And so he, of course, would take me into his office and say, okay, here's the dialogue for tomorrow. So he kind of bypassed mom. <laughs> and um, I'm sure she was as, as uh, freaked out about it as, as all of us were, you know, did later on. Did making this film and starring this film and the phenomenon of the film, especially now in retrospect, because you have some years on it, um, did it change your life for the better or for the worse? Well, it's not that it's for the better or for the worse. It, it certainly had an influence, a large influence on my life. It made me have the life that I have. So in other words, I was able to do some of the most amazing television films, mm -hmm. which I'm very, very proud of. It also put me in situations that I um, were not necessarily the right place at the right time, which caused a lot of controversy. And years down the road, what, what I do have on my side is that your character will always prevail down the road. And people know who I am now. They know, you know, I stand up for issues and rights of things that animals and children and adults that, that I feel are, you know, being misused. And, and, uh, and so I think that now people are very comfortable. They know I'm not mentally ill. Well. You're, you might be fun, but you're not mentally ill. <laughs> right, exactly. You're well adjusted. And I think that they realize it really was a job and it was a profession, but it took me to live all of this time for people to realize I really was telling the truth and it really was just a job. So hmm. for that, this is, a, this is a proud moment for me. It's like, I wish is the way it could have been 28 years ago, but it's not. It's, it's now, and how lucky for me to hmm. have the opportunity to come out and say, howdy, y'all. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to the person who stars in the scariest movie I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Remains that way. Very much. Nice. Thanks. Good Thank to see you. you. Nice to yeah. see you, too. Say hi to Dallas. All right. There you go. Hey, howdy, Dallas. Hey. <laughs>